my channel. Today's video is going to be a pink cut crease. Yes, I know. I've never... It's like my first attempt at doing a cut crease and like, um, kind of like nervous, but I guess we'll see what happens and hope for the best. Um, this cut crease was inspired by Nikki Tutorials. I will link her video down below where I got my inspiration from. I love you, Nikki. Um... So without further ado, let's get straight onto the tutorial. So first I'm going to start by priming my face and I'm taking my Too Faced Hangover Primer. It's like my favourite primer. This is my third bottle of primer. Yes, I'm obsessed. And then I'm going to take the Benefit Professional and just apply that to where I've got my pores. I'm pretty sure I say this every time, but this stuff smells so good. Okay, so now I'm going to do my brows. And I'm just going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in a dark brown. First, I'm just going to take the spoolie from my brow wiz and just, just brush my eyebrows. Just taking a Zoeva. Oh crap. Everything's been rubbed off. A 310 brush. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> this brush I'm filling in my brows. take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer onto my hand and I'm just going to clean up my brow. My MAC one, uh, 212 brush and uh, clean them up. Okay, so we've got our brows on now, so now I'm going to prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Uh, I just dropped it. And I'm just going to take my Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush, and I'm just going to pop that all over my lips. I am just going to set that using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now we're ready to start our eyeshadow. So excited. <laughs> okay, so I'm first gonna start by taking my Kylie's diary. This was from her Valentine's Day collection. And I'm gonna take the shade. I think this is called Sweet Like Candy. That's what it says on the back. Um, let's just go with that. And I'm gonna take that on a oh shit. A Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm just going to pop this all over the crease. And then I'm going to go into my... So now I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I'm taking Red Ochre. And I'm going to go in and really define the crease now. Okay, so now it's time to really, really cut out the crease. So I'm taking my Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC again. And I'm taking a Zoeva 225 brush. And I'm just going to cut out this crease.
And then I'm going to add some of my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter Go Eyeshadow in the shade Kid and Karma. Okay, so my camera decided to stop recording. So I put my still liquid eyeshadow on and then I went in with my Morphe 35E palette and took that same shade and then put it on halfway in towards the eye. Now, it's time for the winged liner. So I'm taking my uh, still stay all day waterproof liquid liner. not going to worry too much about this over here because when I put my foundation on, I'll clean that up. And now I'm going to take my Tarte Clay Paint Liner and my MAC 212 brush. And I'm going to drag in this line. I'm just going to take a Morphe MB27 brush and I'm just going to smudge this black line out to make it softer. Okay, so now to apply some falsies, I'm taking my Morphe 203 lashes and my Tarte Lash Tweezers. Okay, so now we can finally move on to the face. So I'm going to take my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Fan and I'm just going to put a few squats into the back of my head. And I'm just taking a Zoeva buffer brush and I'm just going to buff this all into my skin. And then I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer under my eyes, the bridge of the nose, chin, cupid's bow. And I'm just going to take my MAC 188 brush and just blend that all in. And then I'm just going to set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder with a Morphe G2 brush. Then I'm going to set the rest of my face using my MAC Studio Fix. Girl, I love me some full coverage. So my Giorgio Armani foundation and this MAC Studio Fix gives me such a flawless finish. And that's oh, just exactly what I need. Exactly. I'm just going to finish off my eyes quickly. And I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line with my Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to take Cypress Umber. 
onto the outer part of the eye and red ochre towards the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Benefit Hula Light Bronzer and a Morphe G40 brush and carve out my cheekbones. And now for some blush, I'm going to take my MAC Sheer Tone Blush in shade Pinch Me. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe E4 brush. It's a nice little angled blush brush. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples on my cheeks. And then I forgot to, to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and I'm just going to apply that onto my lashes. Okay, and now for my favourite part of any tutorial, we all know the go, the highlighting. So I'm going to take the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I'm going to take shade Kitty Cat on a Morphe M501 brush and uh, highlight away. And I'm also going to use that same shade for my inner corner highlight. And for the lips, I'm going to take my MAC Honey Love Matte Lipstick. And to go over the top of that, I'm going to take the Kali Cosmetics Cocoa Collection um, Gloss in Damn Gina. And I'm just going to go over that. Alright guys, so this completes the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm actually really happy to have my cut crease turned out. And um, this was my first attempt at a cut crease, so I'm pretty proud. Um, yeah, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys! Mwah.